Hello Year 3 and welcome to our third and final video lesson of this term and once again we're going to be focusing on geography but this time we are going to be focusing on recreation and tourism um, and you're going to be look at, looking at why you would want to visit Atlanta and hopefully you're going to produce a poster which tells us all about the key features of Atlanta and why, why, what there is to see and why you might want to visit. So. The lesson is about um, the tourist sites of Atlanta. Um, by the end of it, you should be able to name some of these key sites, explain why tourism is important, not just to Atlanta, but to lots of places in the world, uh, discuss some facts about the different tourist sites in Atlanta, and explain why Atlanta is a good place to visit, why it's a place that when the lockdown's finished, you might actually want to be able to go and what there is to see there. So, first of all, See if you can answer this question. Why should you visit Atlanta? What is there to see? Pause the video and talk to someone about why you might want to visit Atlanta and what there is to see. I reckon this could be quite difficult for you, so I'm not expecting you to have a lot of answers for this, but it'd be interesting to see what you do already know. Now, Let's try the same exercise for London. Why should you visit London? What attractions has London got? Why would anyone want to come to London? Now, hopefully you'll find this a bit easier because I would suspect that most of you have been to London, um, visited some of the tourist attractions, or certainly would know about what there is to see and do in London. Um, and obviously, uh, when lockdown is over, there are places we might all get to know and visit again and love again. So why would you visit London? Maybe you should pause the video and talk to someone about that. Now, let's look at the final question. And this one I really want you to, to think about very carefully. Why do you think tourism is so important? Why is it really important to people and places um, uh, that uh, people come and visit and there are tourist sites? See if you can make a list and compare it to my list, which is on the next slide. So pause the video and see if you can come up with a list of what tourism does, why tourism is important, not just for um, the economy, but for individuals. Welcome back. And here is <clears throat> my list. So what tourism actually achieves is it creates jobs and wealth. Um, obviously, People have to be there to run the, the attractions, um, they have to be there to keep them clean and maintained and still working, um, as well as obviously people need somewhere to stay when they um, visit, visit places. So there's lots and lots of hotels and restaurants and things that people need when they're visiting an area. So it does create an awful lot of jobs and wealth, but also people need to get there. So there's airports and roads and all that kind of thing. The infrastructure gets built up because it helps people get there. Now, a lot of this money can come back to the government in terms of taxes, and it pays for things like education and health and schools and all the things that government does. So it's a really important thing, um, as well as creating jobs. It really helps create other things for a country or a city or a town to survive. So it develops infrastructure and services. It promotes cultural awareness. People learn a lot about the places they visit. Last year I visited India and I learned an awful lot about India and I love India as a result. Um, and everywhere I've gone, I find it really interesting to find out what it's like in that country, to learn how other people live um, and to meet them and get to know them. It also helps preserve local culture and traditions because that's why people want to come. So people want to come and see local people, see the traditions, find out how other countries live, how other people live. And so because of that, these cultures and traditions are preserved. People actually keep doing them. Um, also for individuals, it creates happiness and improves friendships, mutual cooperation and understanding. It's fun. I like visiting places. I like visiting other places and learning all about them. I like meeting new people. And I've got some great friends all around the world that I've bumped into when I've been a tourist or when I've been visiting other countries. And it's a fantastic thing to do. So it really does, does help. And of course, the more people you know, the more people you learn about and different ways of life, the better it is, because the more you can think about your life and it hope, hopefully create some peace and understanding. And when you're meeting these people, you can exchange cultures. Both the host and the guest learn about each other. And so they can have an exchange. They can become friends. They can get on and they can learn about each other. In Britain, the tourist industry earns over 200 
billion pounds a year in Atlanta. It's 66 billion pounds a year. So you can see it's a massive industry, uh, creates a lot of jobs and wealth and has a lot of benefits. There are some negatives, but it creates a lot of benefits. So that's why tourism is important. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to look at some of the key tourist features of Atlanta and uh, hopefully you're going to choose some of them and make a poster to encourage people to visit Atlanta and visit some of these great tourist sites. Firstly, the Georgia Aquarium. So Atlanta has this huge aquarium and it looks fantastic from the photos. Um, it's uh, uh, the biggest aquarium in the United States. So it's the largest aquarium in the whole of America um, and it's in um, Atlanta in Georgia. Um, it houses thousands of fish and animals, uh, including penguins, sharks, turtles, rays, seahorses and whales. It really is a wonderful place to go. And it's actually owned by the government in Atlanta, in, in Georgia. So it's actually owned by the state and all the money that it makes goes back into the state. But what a fantastic place to see sharks and fish and penguins and turtles, etc. So that's why you might want to visit the Georgia Aquarium. We've got one in London as well, and that's equally as fascinating. Now, we do know that Coca-Cola was invented in Atlanta and it's still the international headquarters of the Coca-Cola company. So in Atlanta, Georgia, there is the world of Coca-Cola that you can go and visit. It showcases the history of the company, how it was made, etc. You can immerse yourself in the world of Coca-Cola, the only place where you can explore the story of the world's most popular drinks brand. That's what they say. So you can really find out all about Coca-Cola. Um, uh, the world of Coca-Cola is an inspiration. There's inspiration around every corner from the vault, which is like a, a safe where they keep the top secret formula so nobody else can find out what goes into making Coca-Cola taste the way it does, to world-class art and more than a hundred drinks, which is a fantastic thing to do, um, and taste from around the world. It's a must-see attraction if you're in Georgia, and it's a really interesting place to visit. Now, what about the Olympic Park? We said in the last video that just like London, um, uh, Atlanta hosted an Olympic Games. They hosted theirs Summer Olympics in 1996, and the area where they had their big stadiums, etc., is now called Centennial Olympic Park, which is 21 acres public park located right in the centre of Atlanta. Um, it plays host to millions of visitors a year, and they hold lots and lots of events there, from pop concerts to Independence Day concerts to fire dis work displays, and no doubt on Martin Luther King Day, um, they have lots and lots of visitors, so it's certainly a place you'd want to visit. Atlanta Zoo. Now, zoos are great. This one was opened um, when a businessman rescued some animals from a circus uh, that were being mistreated and wanted somewhere to put them and keep them and look after them. So he opened the zoo. The, now, the zoo now conserves animals and donates to lots and lots of research and charities and several trusts to look after animals. But you can visit the zoo um, and support the animal conservation and see a whole range of amazing animals. They've got pandas and lions and elephants and tigers and all sorts of things. Um, zoos are great and Atlanta Zoo looks fabulous. I would love to visit. So now we've talked about Martin Luther King. Um, and obviously Martin Luther King was very, very important to Atlanta. Um, and there is the Martin, Martin Luther King National Park in Atlanta. Uh, it's a historical park and consists of several of the buildings that uh, influenced Martin Luther King Jr's life. It has his boyhood home where he grew up, the original Ebenezer Baptist Church where, both, where he was baptized, where both him and his father were pastors like um, priests or what have you. So they led the congregation at that place and the original one is in the park. Uh, the whole park is critical to the interpretation of the life of Martin Luther King Jr. and the whole American Civil Rights Movement. It's a big museum to the American Civil Rights Movement and its importance and what happened. And obviously it's a really popular place, particularly on Martin Luther King days, when that draws large crowds into Atlanta and everyone wants to go and see the National Park. And I'm sure it's an absolutely fascinating place. The pictures show the house he grew up in 
and the sign outside the Baptist church where he worked. So Atlanta, like London, has a big Ferris wheel. They call it the Skyview Atlanta. And if you're in Atlanta, it's certainly a place you'd want to visit. It's a 20 story wheel and provides a stunning scenic views across the city and the parks. So just like the London wheel, where you can see right across London and some fantastic views, um, you can do the same in Atlanta. So certainly if you were visiting Atlanta, it's a place you'd probably want to visit and ride on. So. Those are some of the key tourist sites in Atlanta, in Georgia. Now, what you have here is a poster um, advertising London and London tourist sites. Now, your task is to produce something similar for Atlanta in Georgia. So I want you to produce a poster, choose and write about some of the sites in Atlanta. You can use the information from this video, or maybe you can do your own research and come up with some fantastic information to encourage people to visit Atlanta. Now, if we look at this model, it has a really big headline, it has some pictures, it uses strong persuasive language, interesting adjectives, everything it can to entice you to come and visit includes some interesting facts so just like any information leaflet or information poster and i know we studied a few of those so use this one as a model produce your own based on atlanta if you're using the information on this video or the internet and don't forget when you've done it please do stick it up on tapestry because i'd really love to see your work because it's really fantastic to see all the work everyone is doing uh, whilst we're away from school to make sure that you are still learning and I really look forward to seeing you hopefully whenever we're back or certainly with video lessons next term if we're not quite back then. So enjoy your half term, enjoy your lessons and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye.